Hi, it's Carrie with Us Born Books and More, and lucky we have a new coding book, and this time it's all about Python. So, love the spiral bound here. So it'll lay flat on the desk for the kids to be working on, or me. I might do a little coding of my of my own, learning how to keep up with the kids. Um, so, table of contents, very important. I'll give you a nice clean picture of that. So Python is a computer programming language, and this is just going to be getting into the beginning part, but you are going to get to make some games and do some drawings and do some different things. So there will be creation parts. Um, you'll have an end product to get to look at and play with when you're all done. So first we have to learn some vocabulary and just what different things mean. Um, one of the big things in Python is variables, and we're going to be naming some. And it takes you step by step through the process of doing this. It talks, it has some little pieces here in the corners and some little tidbits to help you out. But see, you're going to be writing code and you're going to learn how to do this. And it's easy and it's fun. It's creative. It's spelled out very nicely. It's going to be a great thing for kids or adults to learn how to do. It's a beginning book. so. There's no need to be intimidated by it. Um, and there are there is some information in the back to help you. It does get more complicated as you go along. But again, step by step, building on what you've already learned earlier in the book. And there are some there is some information online to help you if you get kind of stuck. So you go to the quick link site and then you type in Python. And you can get going again from there. It tells you how to download Python and how to help you to manage your files. It'll teach you about debugging, which is fixing your errors. Uh, which window? Code at a glance. Just gives you some information here in the back. Also includes a glossary in case you come across a word and you just forgot what it meant. It's right there in the back for you to be able to look it up easily. And then the index. So, again, this is the coding for beginners using Python. 